Yeah, man. To, to the portals, to other lands beyond the poles. This is deeper than you think. This goes much deeper than you think. You're talking about land that popped out the primordial waters first, according to Gerald Massey. The Tower of Babel was the Cholola Pyramid in Mexico, according to the book, The North Americans of Antiquity, Their Origin, Migrations, and Type of Civilization, considered by John T. Short. Quote, the entire region bore the name of Anahua. Know that sound Hebrew? Anahua. Shikalako. The first great exploit of the Almec chiefs, the, the destruction of the giants we observe was performed at some distance from the earliest settlement. The state of Puebla became their chosen ground, and quite soon after Whoa. the above achievements, they undertook the building of the famous Tower of Babel. Several authors state that the erection of the Pyramid of Cholula was done in memory of the erection of the Tower of Babel. Y'all think about that. We got to recon it, you know? <laughs> at which it is claimed that the ancestors of the Almec chiefs were present. Herodotus and Diodorus confirm that the temple of Jupiter Belus resembles the Tower of Babel in Teocalis, T-E-O-C-A-L-L-I-S, of Anahuac, A-N-A-H-U-A-C, Anahuac. It is impossible to read the descriptions which Herodotus and Diodorus Seculus have left us of the Temple of Jupiter, right? We talked about Jupiter, Isus, right? Oh, wow. Saturnalia, okay? Without being struck with the resemblance of the Babylonian monument to the Teocalis of Anahuac, end quote. And that was from the North Americans of Antiquity, Their Origin, Migrations, and Type of Civilization, considered by John T. Short. And this chapter is a small-scale image of the Cholula Pyramid, a.k.a. Tower of Babel. Lower Mesopotamia was the Mississippi River system. The Old Testament map of America confirms the fact that the first fertile crescent was the Mississippi River system, and the fertile lands along the mighty Miss Mississippi. <laughs> so he put Miss Isis. So it's Mississippi Miss Isis River because it appears from the Old Testament map that Lower Mesopotamia was the fertile lands along the Mississippi River system. So again, we're talking now River. The now is from the Hebrew Nahal, which means great river. So don't get stuck on titles. We're just talking a great river. The Mississippi is definitely a Nahal, a now river, great river. Everything connects to it. Everything connects through it. And, you know, think about that Mississippi being Miss Isis. I mean, if you're connecting it with Egypt, then it's not too far fetched right it's right there but of course you know different civilizations will have their own titles for us so let's not get caught up in just like that's the name of that river you know don't let them hijack nothing So the lands along the mighty Mississippi River, because it appears from the Old Testament map that Lower Mesopotamia was the fertile lands along the Mississippi River system. This makes sense to me because the oldest indigenous people in the world, the Ouachita Moor, M-U-U-R, I mean, this is what they are calculating, let's go, use the mighty Mississippi River as the fertile crescent 
since the annual flooding of the Mississippi River produced mineral rich silt that produced land, uh, produced fertile lands along the Mississippi River system. The fertile lands along the Mississippi River fed most of the people in the Old World with wheat, corn, beans, rice, all of which are native to the Americas, and etc. So it's very possible that the Mississippi River system was your first fertile crescent, especially in light of the fact that the, that the Mississippi River system still is responsible for feeding most of the world today. I mean, mama's still feeding her children. And of course, you know, he's written by Amenhotep Chavez El Bey. So he's going to connect a lot to the Moors and the Bays and the Els and the Pharaohs and Egypt and all that. And you got to see it from your perspective, my life. From a Naga perspective, a Naga be an Iberu. Let's go. The Washita Moors were known as the ancient Whoa. ones and the mound builders because they built all the mounds along the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River was also your first Nile River or Nahal. The Old Testament map of the ancient America shows you Babylon or Sumer, Lower Mesopotamia, Lower Egypt, and Jerusalem all in North America. All in North America. So you got Lower Mesopotamia, you got Egypt, you got Jerusalem, Babylon, Sumer, all this in North America. Okay. Ancient Mesopotamia was in the Americas because Amaru was the Sumerian Akkadian god of the Amorites, Amerites, aka the mound builders, the Amaru. Washita, uh, man, Moors, Moor, Maru, the Amaru, uh, Washita, Moors are the oldest indigenous people in the world, according to the United Nations. Well, you know, I don't really accord anything to the United Nations. <laughs> now, let us see if you, if we can tie the Sumerian god Amaru, which they spelled A M U R R U, and again, you know. And Sanskrit and all that, you know, the Amaru connects back to the dragon, you know what I'm saying? So they want the Amaru to be the serp, the, the Sumerian guy. Well, he could be a dragon, but Amaru is not just only connected to a Sumerian, uh, you know, god of yada yada, you know what I'm saying? But in general, an Amaru <sighs> would be a dragon or an angel that they would call a god. You see what I'm saying? So they want to title things. But you can't have the name Amaru, Amaru Khan, Priest King, Dragon Khan. You know what I'm saying? So they can't have that. <laughs> That's Khalifa flow. You know, Priest Queen flow. Yeah, man.